Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you how I made my gaming table for less than £50 just using basic tools and no skills. Here's the table we're going to make, and this is a six foot by four foot table, so perfect for big games like Age of Sigmar or Warhammer 40k. I'd be mostly using this for skirmish games, but I wanted something big enough that if I wanted to in the future, I could pretty much play any game I liked on it. I'm calling this a tabletop ready wargaming table, and I'm not looking for any prizes for looks here. I just want something that's functional, cheap, pretty sturdy, and is going to be long lasting. For the top of the table I used a large sheet of MDF and this is 9mm thick and the size is 2440mm by 1220mm. The main chunky bits of wood I used to make it are 38mm by 63mm and these are 2.4m lengths and these are CLS uh, wooden planks usually used for like stud work and roof timbers. The only power tool we're going to use is an electric drill, otherwise we're using hand saws, set square, screws, and we're going to use some clamps and a trusty Spyderco pen knife and a pencil. And here we go, here's all the, the tools and accessories I use in this video, and I'll put a link below in the description if you want to find these. These screws are great, they drill themselves in and they countersink as well, so perfect for a quick assembly like this. Okay, let's get building. And so first I measured out, I wanted to cut this eight foot long sheet down to six foot. So I'm just marking out the six foot on each side. And then I use one of the long planks just to get a nice straight line. And these are pretty straight, these edges. So I'm trusting this and then mark that out. And I'm just using some of the other planks to raise it off the ground. I don't have a bench yet. Um, so I'm just gonna saw it like this, take my time, go nice and slow, go right through it. And then I do this all the way along until it pops off and we get a nice straight cut. Then I just mark off one of the long beams and this is going to be all measured now off the actual kind of sheet of MDF and then I cut that out again nice straight cut straight as possible and with no clamps or vice you just got to kneel on it or do your best and then I just offer that back up to the sheet make sure it's all nice and even and then I do that for four different beams that are going to go all around it and I'm kind of building this upside down. And then I add some Gorilla Glue and then I put two screws in and that's going to keep this in nice and tight and um, that glue is going to set really hard. And it says this wood glue is stronger than wood when it sets, so perfect. And there we go, there's our frame all ready to go. And so I just lifted it off to show you how strong it is and I've put it back down onto the sheet and now I'm going to measure out the legs. And when this table is fully built, the height's going to be around 32 inches in height. So I'm just leaving these legs a little bit shorter to take in account the 9mm of the MDF sheet. And then I cut all these legs and you can see now they're nice and flat. But that's not my cut, that's the ends of the beams. And so I made sure I used all the end pieces to make sure the legs were nice and flush to the um, MDF sheet. Bit more Gorilla Glue and I've glued that into the frame. And then when that's in place, I'm just going to drill in again a couple of screws just to make sure that's nice and sturdy. And so popping two screws in from this side. And I'm also putting one just for good measure from the end of the uh, kind of frame. And look at that, really sturdy. That's nice and strong. And we haven't even braced the bottom yet. So really happy with the progress so far. But let's add some bracing. And I've got some thinner wood now to do this because I don't really want it to be that strong it's pretty strong as it is and you could just leave the four legs but this is how i'm going to brace it so just measured that and then using these clamps i can hold those in place while i pop in the first screw then add another one i didn't use any glue here and then i'll repeat that on the other end just making sure those measurements are accurate and again two screws is going to sort that right out and keep it in place and this is just going to tense up the whole piece and i run a the end panels i run a screw in through the side there and into the kind of smaller beam that we've put on. And so I'm gonna put two in from here, and then I'm gonna come from the outside as well through that chunky beam and just run one long screw all the way through. And now we're near the end, I'm just measuring out where I'm gonna put the screws that hold the MDF board onto that frame, and I'm just spacing them out evenly, about every foot or so. And then just gonna drill that in all the way around the table, and that's gonna be our table complete. 
And there we go, all done, and we're all ready for gaming. I'll be covering this with a black cloth whenever I play on it, so you won't see any of these screws that are exposed. And again, we don't want it to look pretty, we just want it to work, and I was really happy with how this turned out. Really quick and easy to make, costs less than £50. You can do it with some simple tools, and um, I think you can get a table built really quick. And then having this table built, I've been able to use those clamps to build myself a new workstation, and I can't wait to get this fully kitted out and this is going to allow me to do loads more painting, loads more craft videos but most importantly we'll be doing loads of battle reports now and so I can't wait to share that with you on the channel really soon. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel then please check out my Patreon page and thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome, we hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out and you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description and it'll be great to see you there. I hope you enjoyed the video and this gave you an idea of how you could build a table quite quickly using basic tools and do it quite cheap as well. But thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.